What is up, wrestling fans? Welcome to another episode of the Smart Out Moments Smack Talk Podcast. I'm your host, as always, Tony Mango. Joining me, as always, are Callum Wiggins. Hello there. And Robert E. Felice. Hey, we're doing something really, really weird today, aren't we? We're doing something uh, that is piggybacking off of, what was it, six parts of a thing that we had done before? That we had a lot of fun doing earlier this year, uh, about two months ago or so since we recorded that, which is our mock draft, our all-time draft, our ultimate roster, whatever you want to necessarily uh, qualify it as. We're continuing that with um, another offshoot that we had been discussing ahead of time. This one was uh, actually brought up by Callum. Uh, He is spearheading this one, which is going to be a randomizer of the worst superstars ever. And I'm going to uh, switch my screen right now to the point where you can see what we're working with a little bit. I'm not obviously going to run down every single person on this list. If you really want to like stop and pause the screen later on, and, and then you can uh, you can see what's going on here. But we've got names that he had gone through many, many different lists to try to figure out some of the absolute worst people that have ever been in WWE. Now, when it comes to worst, there's obviously tons of people that have been just like, you know, an enhancement talent that popped up on one episode of Shotgun Saturday Night or something. That's not really all that fun because we don't have any idea who they are. So instead, he was going for more of like the names that you would know, you know, like Nails and Bastion Booger and James Ellsworth, the people that you would never really, really want on your roster, despite how, yeah, yeah, there's been some moments here and there for each one of them for the most part. You know, there's a... I'm pretty sure that everybody can say that there's at least one scenario of one segment somewhere that they liked of David Otunga, for instance. But he's not somebody that would come into the factor of like, okay, let me try to draft my 100 best possible people. Highly doubt that he's going to be somebody that would be on there. I don't think anybody's really going to go for the gobbledygooker as one of their main people that they would uh, try to get. So... This is our list. Uh, we're going to do things a, a little bit differently with um, how we've done it in the past. Um, switching over to this draft board uh, spreadsheet that we've got going on right now. What Callum's going to do here and what he's kind of working on at the moment, uh, he is going to be adding the names that are on this draft roster page over to this page. And he's going to take all the names on the spreadsheet, make them white text so they blend in with the background and then randomize them. And we are going to pick kind of like bingo style a little bit. Like we're going to go like, you know, like uh, say D13. And we're not going to have any idea who we're going to pick. Because if we picked otherwise, if we just went through and we were like, okay, well, you know, I want uh, Terry Runnels or something. I think it would be taking quite a while for us to try to decide that because they're all kind of bad options. That's the point. And it's a little fun to try something a little bit different too, just to see like you, you're uh, it's taken out of you. You know, you don't have the decision at this point. So if you really did want Michael Tarver, you might not get him. you know? Yeah. That was kind of the, the whole process behind this was the thought of the fact is that these are all people that nobody would really want. If we were doing a genuine draft of just all time, like the all time roster, like these are people that would never, ever get picked. And the thought behind it is that this, in this way, you're essentially given what you get and you see what you can come up with it because as well as obviously doing the draft, the, the main fun of this whole thing is that you're left with a really crappy roster and what can you do with it by making a card out of it? Yeah. Cause obviously you got to try to make the best card that you possibly can. And we might even do a thing like, uh, Maybe we'll do like a um, a dark cast of this or so, but we might try to make the worst card out of our rosters as well, just to try to be like, look, how bad can you make it too? You know, what if you were trying to tank something, you know, like uh, if you're taking a multiple choice test in school and it's like, you know, uh, Sally has three apples and, uh, you know, um, to get taken away, what's left? And the answer is number one uh car <laughs> like that kind of thing you'd be like oh yeah it's definitely that we yeah, might try to totally box that car. um so uh, as we're going through here i want to remind everybody as well uh drop your comments below 
Tell us your thoughts on who you think should be a part of that. I tried to get uh, a little bit of a head start on that to see if anybody would be tossing out any names that we might have not had on this list or so. And, you know, maybe somebody will just down the line be like, oh, you guys forgot so-and-so or, you know, you would have been like, why is this person on the list? I definitely would have grabbed them. I would have had them on my main all-time best roster or something. Uh, tell us your thoughts on that. Tell us your thoughts on who's got the best roster, who's got the worst roster, who makes the best card eventually, all that good stuff. And while you are doing that, hit that like button, uh, hit the subscribe button if you haven't done that already, ring that little notification bell as well so that we get the email alerts of whenever we go live for different things like the pay-per-view points or we I thought about maybe potentially doing this live, but it's 10.43 a.m. on Monday. I didn't think that really many people would be popping up to listen to that. Um, but, you know, we might do some more live things in the future. We might do some live fan announce table things and stuff. We're going to play around with some ideas and, you know, we're going to try to have more fun like we did with some of the things this year. We're just going to I'm not going to focus as much in 2022 about like oh man, like the algorithm might be whatever. I'm like, yeah, fuck it. Let's just have fun. That's what matters. That's, uh, you know, it's what matters more in life in general. So if you've got something in mind that you think would be fun for us to do and we are not getting around to doing it, also you can take advantage of the Pick Your Poison tier on Patreon, patreon.com slash smartoutmoment. Same thing over on the members only platform side of the YouTube the whole thing. So if you hit the join button on that, you can take advantage of that just as well. Also, in the meantime, take advantage of the T Public and Redbubble sales that are going on for the holiday season. Pick up some different merchandise and, you know, all sorts of different designs are on all sorts of different products. So if you want some stickers or hats or coffee mugs or whatever, somebody just bought a mug the other day of the eat, sleep, pretend to sign with UFC and then re-sign with WWE, repeat. <laughs> like so somebody's going to be drinking their coffee in the morning out of that mug. Thank you to that person. But, um... Yeah, what we got going on here, the, the draft roster is what we're working with. The draft board, Calm's working on here, or, or is it all set up yet? It's all set up. All set up, so... Um, yeah. so, so, if you want to run down a little bit of how it's going to actually work. So, as Tony said earlier, all names are now completely hidden. There's no way of telling it. I've gotten rid of the formula board at the top of the Google Sheet. So, if you click on a cell, there's no way of telling who it is. It's all written in white font. And what will happen is that one by one, someone will select a cell. So let's say they pick C10 or something like that. And then what will happen is the background color will switch to the color that we've assigned for each person. So Tony's color is red, Rob's color is blue, mine color is green. And then with the background color behind it, it will reveal the name in white. And that's who you've got. Mm -hmm. So... But one thing we do have to establish just now, quickly, because even though this is a random pick, we're not going to go snake style because there's not, literally no point of going snake style. Right. We don't get an advantage either way. But we do have to decide who will go first and who will essentially, at the end of this entire thing, be left with the last person. So I've got a little, I've got a randomizer up now, so I can just uh, sort that out now. So do you, me to, do you want me to do that on this list? Because uh, I've got the screen share oh, thing. Yeah, yeah. If you if you want to show it on screen instead, Let's just see. To make sure that there's absolutely no way that we're uh, fudging the results. Any Rob Callum? All right. So randomized Tony Rob Callum. It is Callum Tony Rob. Hey Rob, you're not going lost. You're going like going in the middle this time. No, it's hey. Callum Tony Rob. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So. DTR. We'll bounce around a little bit, but another thing that's important to establish is that we've done this. The way we're going to go approach it as well is there are 138 men, there are 45 women, and there are 33 tag teams. So everything is divisible by three. So we're all going to have completely even rosters by the end of it. And so it's just a case of we might do decide at the start, oh, we're going to select five men, then we're going to go to a couple of the women, a couple of the tag teams, all that stuff. It's just to make sure that whichever um bracket someone picks first the other two will essentially follow suit just to make sure that we don't accidentally start picking multiple women or going over the top on certain tag teams or whatever yeah if somebody's like i'm gonna perpetually pick l and then all the yeah. other tag teams that we kind of you know suddenly yeah. nobody has any tag teams left so okay so that's essentially how it's gonna work and may the 
I guess the best person, worst person win. <laughs> but, <laughs> I yeah, I don't really know what we should be aiming for here. But this is mainly just like a fun exercise, and we'll, we might be able to share a few memories about the uh, the people who are drafting to see what the like the the kind of visceral reaction yeah. is to the person that we draw. You got reaction of like, oh, I don't really remember that person, or oh crap, I remember that person. <laughs> you know, <laughs> yeah. So I'm up first, then, right? Yep. Okay, so let's start with. I'm looking. I'm looking at B11. You sunk my battleship. Yeah. Well, we're going to be sinking. We're going to be <laughs> sinking a lot right now. Uh, so just get the color, and hopefully this will work. Wild boar. Wild boar. Okay. Ah, Great recent start. name. Yeah, one of the NXT UK's. Uh, I would say finest. You're uh, you you're already hamming it up. <laughs> uh, okay, this is this is fantastic. <laughs> so uh, let's see. Pick. I'm gonna go. Well, I mentioned D13. Let's see what D13 is all about. Okay, D13. I'll give you Tony's red color. Skinner. Skinner. Ah. <laughs> Did not expect to get Skinner in this. All right. <laughs> Uh, scanner. Yeah, there, there, there are there no, are some people. Yeah, there there are some people that you might actually be okay with taking. Yeah, I mean, uh, oh. not somebody that I'd normally go for, but yeah, well, I'll see what I can do with them. There, are, there, are, I think there are a lot worse than Skinner, but there are also yeah. maybe a few better. You could do worse than Armin Tanzarian. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, Rob. So I will go with C four. C four. An explosive pick. Like the blue, blue color there. I hope that that means atom bomb. Yeah! Ah! <laughs> Look at oh, that. well, that's a uh... faker. Okay. The under faker. Yeah, the under. I, I almost always very upset that they never went with the name under faker instead. Yeah. Like, I think we have our first main event pick. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> that's um. What's it, what's his actual? It's Brian Lee, isn't it? Yes. Is it Brian Lee? Mm -hmm. It yeah. is Brian Lee. Yeah, chains. Okay. Look, if you're gonna go there, pal, sure. <laughs> but I also think I definitely have the best pick of the overall first three. Yeah, I'd probably say that. Yeah, I'd say that too, especially because <laughs> you've got fake Undertaker, not even just you know Brian Chains. Lee. So it's like you could technically be like, and then we pull like a Sin Cara here, and he's Undertaker going forward. <laughs> it just it does give it also. Because uh, Tony obviously mentioned the fact that we dug through like multiple lists to try and see like just lists and lists of like the worst gimmicks and the worst wrestlers of all time. I also then decided that at the very last minute I dived into Cage Match because they, uh, there's a, a function where you can rate wrestlers ah. that as well. And I just looked at just the lowest list. You know who was actually the lowest rated person? And I, I was surprised about this because they're not actually technically a wrestler, but just an indicator. No, um, Bubba Love Sponge. Oh, fuck Bubba. You know what? That, that's very good. God, I hope I don't end up getting him on this list. No, oh, I, no I didn't. Because he, right. he, was, he was never hired by WWE. Yeah, that's right. But, uh, yeah, I can't, I can't remember everyone's off the top of my head. I know there are certain people that are very low. But uh, hmm. but yeah, but for now, I'll carry on with E20. Let's see what we get here. Let's see. E20 is Brooklyn, Brooklyn Brawler. Brawler. All yeah. right. That's like, that's like the Babe Ruth. <laughs> of this kind of a list. Not bad. I'm actually quite. I'm quite happy with that one. I'm gonna go a two. A two. Right at the top. Total right. top left. Okay. Abdullah, Abdullah the, butcher. the butcher. Wow. Okay. I got a hardcore match. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna go. Maybe uh, Skinner is going to skin some uh, skin yeah, that off. Be, that, could, that could be a straight match already. <laughs> that wouldn't be too bad. I'm going to go F5. Oh, uh. God. I don't think you're going to get Brock Lesnar in this. Yeah. But, uh... well, fingers crossed. You're going to get Mark Lesnar. Brock, Brock, Brock. Mark Lesnar, yeah. <laughs> Golga. Oh, boy. Well, they got That's somebody with... Uh... They got it, but yeah. In the Golga gimmick. You're getting That's ahead that... of the game. <laughs> That's that's the thing about this as well is that certain people in this have more, let's say, memorable and impactful characters under other gimmicks. The one that strings immediately to mind is Isaac Yankum DVS is in this list. 
Ooh. But you can't just say, okay, He's Kane, I'm, right? no, I'm just going to make him Kane instead. Yeah, like, you no, keep you him yeah, I mean, you've got, I've got Earthquake, Tony's got Steve Kern. Yeah, yeah like we've got some pretty decent picks here, but they're in the worst gimmicks. I'm going to dive into A16. And see what we get here. Ricky Ortiz. Ricky Ortiz, get that rally towel going. New generation going. time. So, yeah, yeah. So new, not no generation, but, uh, well... Oh, a, a bunch, basically, in this collection of like the 2008, 2009, just they were just bringing up any randomer. Got out, uh, Mr. Layla L. Yeah. They're still Mr. married, L. right? Yeah, I think I so. so. You know, if I go through this whole list and I don't get Bam Neely, I think something's wrong. <laughs> well, he is yeah. there. You can't, you can you can find him. Uh, let's go all the way to the bottom right, F24. F24, let's see what we get here. Oh, that's a good That's a pick right there. Huh. I wonder if he's watching. Well, let me plug a whole bunch of things. <laughs> <laughs> Look, oh, I mean, dear. you've got Abdul the Butcher against Lars Sullivan, which isn't too bad of a match. All things considered, <laughs> Lars Sullivan, if you ignore the behind Everything. the scenes stuff and all that, I mean, it's a great pick. Yeah, you know. He could have been a main event guy. He was meant to fight John Cena at WrestleMania at one point. Yeah. Brock Lesnar too. He was part yeah. of that uh, that really good North American Championship ladder match. Yeah. I mean, that's... The worst part, but... <laughs> not a bad pick. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go E10. E10? E10? Rob is... The Goon! The goon. All right. <laughs> oh, my goodness. It's The Goon. It's a hockey player who didn't really play hockey. It's I, I don't I don't know why I don't know why they made him the goon. I think uh, just to mix things up a little bit, let's dive into the first woman pick. All right, I'm going to go with I nine so over here. Dana, Dana Brooke. Brooke. That's actually a pretty good one. For yeah, the not bad. Side of things, the reigning twenty four seven champion as we record this. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's uh, probably, that's, that, might, that might be one of the best ones that you can get from the women's side. Especially considering, like, if you got Dana Brooke at the very, like, uh, spot right now in her career, like, this is the best that she's been. Yeah. Yeah, so it's, uh, I, I felt a little bit bad putting her on there, but she was very lowly rated on her. Gosh, yeah. Her, so. Look, look, they, they've done enough that she's worn being on a list like this. Mm. I'm going to go... I'm going to stick with my uh, my my corners. I'm going to go H2. Top left H2. of the women. Yep. Oxana. Oxana. Uh, oh. <laughs> I'm yeah, disappointed in that I'm pick. Super well on that front for you that time. I'm going to... Uh, well, I don't know. Tony, you got any memories of Oxana? None that are good. <laughs> uh, she, she did things with uh, Teddy Long for a bit. She was uh, flirting with gold dust and Teddy Long, and yeah, she made a gold dust for a green card. I don't know. I <laughs> she, that she was Cesaro's first like angle in the entire company. Was he came in as as his as her boyfriend? Which, all in all honesty, let's talk about how long Cesaro has been on the roster in that case. Mm. <laughs> Antonio Cesaro. All Number right, I'm, this list. I'm gonna go M five. Well, tag. kind of wanted you to pick a woman first. Oh, all right, I'll pick a woman. We can go to the tag uh, team next. I'll, I'll remember that one for your tag team. Um, all right, then I'll go J two. J two. Just to make sure that we uh all get the same number of things drafted. Ariel Shelly Martinez. <sighs> okay. I so mean... you're pairing her up with Fake Undertaker or the Goon? <laughs> well, uh, Kevin Thorne is in this list as well, so you all might. Right, I hope we get Kevin Thorne. <laughs> But, I actually uh, hope I get Kevin Thorne. <laughs> but yeah, he's he's also one, probably one of the better side of things as well. But uh, Shelly Martinez famously has one of the uh, lowest rated matches in Wrestling Observer history oh, it's, it's with a uh, Rebel. Match. Yeah, from, uh, where she just screams, but I said my bad hurts. Like, and that's that match is fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we'll dive into picking the first tag teams. Then I'll go with N ten. Uh, N ten. Make sure I've got the right one. So it's hard to see when you get that far down. There we go. That's the right pick. And color green. 
Powers of Pain. That's actually, again, done pretty well with that one. Yeah, not a bad pick. Who? Uh, Powers of Pain. Powers of Pain is... Uh, oh, okay, okay. I thought you said House of Pain. Powers yeah. of Pain, yeah. It's a fantastic yeah. pick. Warlord and Barbarian. Warlord and Barbarian. I think that that's awesome. Yeah. Probably better as a tag team as they are individually. So I just decided to... Hey, why not put them together? I'll go L4. Okay, L4 for Tony. The Bushwhackers. Bushwhackers. Okay. Yeah. All right. All things considered, Fun. I'm not I'm not too upset with that. All right, now I had said M5, so let's yeah. see what's behind M5. Yeah, stick with it. Watch me get up. Techno <laughs> Team <laughs> 2000. I'm so glad I didn't get that. All right. No, okay. there it was. The rib on me. <laughs> you had your chance to switch. I um, did. Damn my loyalty. <laughs> I'll, I'll dive back in a minute. I'll go to the bottom left. I'll go A24. See if uh, some of the corners uh, benefit me. Uncle, Uncle Elmer. Elmer. Oh I don't think oh, that's much of a beneficial pick. I'm so glad that you got that instead of me picking all the corners. <laughs> yeah, no, that's a, that's, a, that's a rough one. But for the sake of it, I will pick the other corner of F2. I was going to pick that one. Yeah, that's saw that one coming. Vladimir, Vladimir Kozlov. Kozlov. You know, I'm cool with it. Yeah, Tony's getting some decent shitty picks here. Uh, yeah, Kozlov but, yeah, and they, Sullivan could be a good, like, uh, you know, they just beat the tar out of each other kind of match, too. Yeah. yeah so Kozlov it's, versus it's, Saksana. It's been, <laughs> been pretty positive so far. So in Soviet actually Russia, quite, you know. I'm actually quite I, pleased that most of these people we've seen have just gone, hey, yeah, this, this, these guys, this is a guy. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go C15. Uh, C15? Yeah. Okay. Uh, there he yeah! is! Yeah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> the, the, the damn B pick of the draft. <laughs> Bam Neely, what's up? I mean, by God, who else has greater memories than Bam Neely? This I'm... man with The Undertaker, Batista, and then peaced out, and you never heard from him again. I'm legitimately curious if there's any other podcast out there that has mentioned Bam Neely more times than Smart Cow Moment. <laughs> uh, Bam uh, Neely, baby. Yeah. It's, it, it, obviously, it had to come. It's, it's a shame it wasn't Tony's one. But yeah. Still. yeah Viva la Bam Neely. Uh, Fantastic. Let's go D6. My favorite uh, Dungeon Dragons reference. I don't get it. Zeus. Zeus. <laughs> Oh, that's a that's a SummerSlam main eventer right there. I think you'll find. It's not yeah. quite a dookie pick, but <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, let's go C thirteen. C thirteen. Next to Skinner. See if he's got a tag team partner. <laughs> the blue, the blue meanie. meanie. Uh, well, uh, he's a pick. <laughs> yeah. Uh, don't get a JPL. E2. <laughs> I'm a, I'm gonna go E2. E2. E2 Brute. Tugboat. Tugboat. Oh God, Christ Almighty! Actually, you've got Tugboat and Golga. Yeah. <laughs> just, just. <laughs> there you go. Natural disaster, baby. Well, unfortunately, she just want to team up Golga. I said Tugboat. natural <laughs> disaster. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take shock mask uh, here for being honest. Uh, B twenty one. Who we get on here? Ivan, Ivan Putsky. Putsky. Um, really, Ivan yeah. Putsky out on this list. Uh, he was uh, a previous, I believe, in the mid eighties. He was a uh, rest on the list as wrestling observers' uh, worst wrestler of the year in one of the years of the nineteen eighties, and. Yeah, he's um, someone who's uh, who appeared quite reg reg regularly on the list of like worst wrestlers that I was finding. That's pretty sad because like he was a big deal for his time. He was a big powerhouse. Like, I kind of would have wanted to have him and uh, drafted uh, Vladimir Kozlov and made the tag team now. Then, but you know mm. that's uh, <laughs> that's uh, that's neither here nor there. Not the way the cookie crumbles for you, yeah. though. I'll go Kozlov's uh, column. I'll go F nineteen. F19. That one, instead. 
and that is Fantasia. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Well, one match where he just pulled down the, his opponent's uh, boxer shorts. The amazing Looney Tunes finish. Yeah. Um, I'm going to stick to F and go F10. F10. Double the F5. And see what we got here. There he Damn. is. You got him. You got Kevin Thorne yeah, versus oh uh, God, there you go. Fake Undertaker going it's on. Kevin, that's what I was going to say. It's Kevin Thorne, Fake Undertaker. What else can you need? And you got Ariel in the corner. There you go. Rob's but, getting but, the best roster so far, I think. You know, you know Rob, your, I, you, your drafts are actually really good when you don't have any uh, real stay on actually picking the people. <laughs> well, <laughs> there it is. That's all you need. And if I can make a shitty card with good people, imagine the good card I'm going to make with shitty people. All right? <laughs> Uh, I'm going to go B5. The B5. The pug. The pug. Oh, the pug. See, I wouldn't, I wouldn't know, wouldn't have known who the pug is if I hadn't listened to your 96 uh, draft. There you go. We, we teach our own on this podcast. You know, you got to team up Ivan Putski with the pug and call them Pugski. Pugski. <laughs> <laughs> Or just a team of wild boar and the pug and just have like a group called the animals. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's go A8. A8. David, David Flair. Flair. <laughs> That's a guy with, uh, well, I guess, legacy behind him. Might end up being a main eventer at this point. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go US champion. D22. D22. What do we got? Yeah, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I'm unfortunately, go unfortunately and... God isn't available to draft, even though he did make the backlash one on time. But, uh... I'm going to go ahead and say that's Jesus, and we're not going to talk about Carlito's bodyguard, Jesus. How about that? <laughs> it, uh, unfortunately, it is Jesus, the uh, guy that had that one-off match with John Cena at uh, Armageddon, the guy that allegedly uh, stabbed him in the kidney. Uh <laughs> But we'll dive back into the women's side of things a little bit and go I-14. And that gives me... Kelly hello, Kelly! Hello, hello. <laughs> Divas champion. Not bad. I mean, as certain picks go, she's like the John Cena for some people. Yeah. I think my women's roster is looking pretty strong right now. It really is. I'll go uh, H-10. H-10. Uh, yep, this is the right one. Give me somebody good here. Give me somebody good. Maxine? Maxine, hell yeah. Hmm. Huh. yeah obviously, went on to better things as, um, uh, what, what's her name in uh, Lucha Underground? Carly? Uh, Catalina? Catalina? <laughs> I don't know if it was Catalina. <laughs> no, it's Katrina. Katrina? It's like something it, yeah. to that effect. Hmm. Yeah. Not as much in ring, but a good, she's a good talker. Fantastic. I'd. I'd do a lot with that. Find that on my roster. Well, who are you gonna have? Uh, on your I'm gonna go H3. H3. Let's hope we get like a Triple H level pick here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Kavita <laughs> Devi. I mean, What's that's uh, a. You've really attracted the Indian audience here. First <laughs> Indian to ever be featured on WrestleMania for the women. That is a historic pick. Kavita I'm. I'm, ju I'm just thinking pick. now. I'm I'm just thinking now, if you if you manage to get uh, the great Carly, you could get uh, the great Carly and Kavita Devi versus Kevin Fawn and Ariel. Yeah, that's true. The next day. What like who wouldn't want to see that? Huh? <laughs> uh, There's been worse into, matches out there. Uh dive into another tag team, then I'll go with uh, the bottom left with uh, L uh L twelve, yeah, L twelve. Now I still have blue minis themes in my head. Wow. The Highlander the Highlanders. They actually, they Five points if you day. can name who they are, Tony. Rory and... Come on. Bory. <laughs> Rory, Rory and Robbie. Robbie. Robbie, I was like, I know it's another R. Robbie was the one that was in... Uh, was Ro Robbie was the one that was in Impact, wasn't he? That was just sitting in the audience. Did he was sitting in the audience one time? <laughs> yeah. Alright, Tony, tag team for you. M2. M2. 
Um, oh, damn it. Boy, I know you know who they are. Yeah, I actually added them onto Callum's yeah. list. <laughs> yeah, Tony added a few people to this. Mainly on the tag team. So. So. Uh, damn Rob, it. Your tag team <laughs> choice? All right, I'm going to go right next to Techno Team 2000 and go N5. Uh, M5. Well, well, actually, they were M5. Oh, you went N5, sorry. M5. Yeah. Yeah, that one. Yeah, sorry. Uh, Los, Los Matadores. Matadores. That's a damn good right, pick, so actually. Primo and Ethico, baby. And I'm assuming I get the bull. Uh, well, I didn't actually put uh, Torito on the list. I'm getting but the you can bull. Have him as, you can have him as like. I'm getting now. the bull. That's right. <laughs> That's bullshit. <laughs> Let's go. All right. Back to the men, C24, bottom of uh, C. Me? Oh, it's only, for, it's only right that I got Nathan <laughs> Jones. <laughs> my my nominee for the worst w- w- uh, Hall of, pa- hall of uh, what was it? It was a Hall of Lame, uh, worst wrestler of the uh, Ruthless Aggression era. I hope you get nails. I would like to have nails as well. That could be a real prison tag team. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I'll go B24 in between Elmer and Jones. Okay. I'll try and clear out the bottom of the list. Well. Chains. <laughs> yeah. See, there is a fake Undertaker, but there's also Chains. Yeah. So, but, so they're different gimmicks, but they're both bad. Ah, and that's so, why I decided ah, to give it. <laughs> you suck. I got the good Brian Lee. <laughs> yes. I got SummerSlam made it better. You got a piece of shit. How you go with that? <laughs> Ah. Let's see if I can get anybody else uh, in the, some motorcycle gang. <laughs> there, might, there might be a couple of other people like that. I don't know if I should have put Chuck Palumbo on this list. I probably did, and I think he was. He might have just been above the uh, threshold. You might not have remembered me. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go B12. B12. Rounder won't bore. That gives you Commander Z. Father Tunde, he's big. What up? Let's not, go. not a whole lot of other people are big. So. Yeah, yeah. He's big. All right, let's I'm go. I'm surprised in. he's on this list. He's big. Uh, he's rated very lowly on a cage match. Yeah. You know what he's not rated lowly in? Size. <laughs> <laughs> and realistically, has Baba Tunde ever had a good match no. in he, WWE? He crushed that guy's balls. What are you talking about? <laughs> I'm, going, I'm going E3 just under Tugboat. Let's see what I get there. Oh, if I get Dragon Gonzalez, it's... The cool. Missing Link. Mm. <laughs> oh, that's a, that's terrible. Go ahead and just in green face paint. Uh, he's good, though. He's good for his time. Uh-uh. I'll Not go... D... 17. D17. <laughs> Give me a Demento. <laughs> <Give me a> Demento. <laughs> All right. I don't know. The, uh, Jack shit to the, do with the, him. The, the, like the, the first know, ever Raw main mean? eventer. Damien Demento. Well, it's the Undertaker, right? Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna go E24. E24, right down here next to Lars Sullivan. Try to finish out that bottom. Damn! Oh, what up? This is like... Uh, you legit have the best roster going. <sighs> Yeah, it's. I, I don't know. Also. I don't know which Sin Cara this is. It doesn't it's, matter. It's, it's the amazing. original Sin Cara. The my God, Cara. I've got Mystico. Why not? <laughs> uh, look, look at this. Look at this roster. I mean, I, I don't know who you've really got that you can pair him <laughs> up with, considering the rest of your team. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, you can do a six man uh, Sin Cara and Los Matadores. <laughs> Yeah, you could there, actually. Yeah. There you go. Against, I don't, or you could have them against know. Primo or Epico and they could have a good match. Yeah, the, the, the gods are, are smiling on you at the moment. They it? really are. Yeah. Uh, I'll go, yeah, I'm going to go with uh, E14. See what that gives me. Hopefully, I can turn things around with. Oh, oh, the damn. WWE champion. <laughs> Jin Let's go. He why might actually be the only WWE champion on this list. Yeah, I was going to say, why is the WWE champion on this list? Because he is incredibly General. lowly rated on a cage match. And, well, I thought, even it's the worst list of all time. I thought, why not put what many people consider the worst ever WWE champion on this list? Mm-hmm. That's so sad. Damn, I wish I could have gotten him. <laughs> yeah, that would be good. that's a good one. I think uh, Veer and Shanky are in the tag teams as well, so I might try and dig for them in a little while. <laughs> nice. Uh, I'll go A3. A3. Just I'm under Abdullah. Whoa, what's he doing there again? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> uh, that might My have been God, Mr. Impact, having, them both, having them both under that. 
Um, it might. Okay. I've got a um, substitute pick that I can switch the Blue Meanie for. Someone that I was going to. I originally had on the list, but I'd kicked out in the time. It's the issue of like having one that I named the Blue Meanie and then the one that I had Blue yeah. Meanie. And so I just had it. <laughs> so I'm going to switch in with, the, uh, one, with one of the substitutes that I have on my list, which is not Sylvester Takai. That's just a, he's he's on basically that's revealed that he's in that column that he's uh he's going to be hidden somewhere we don't know which one but you know so it's going to be Sylvester Lafort huh. from NXT it was one of the uh, substitutes that I had listed down All not right. one of the worst but yeah so he was, he was someone who avoided being in the worst list but now he's been added to it because <laughs> for some reason I put the blue meanie in twice <laughs> and for some reason I, I picked them twice I was meant to have the blue meanie. Oh, sorry, what's, which one? D24. Oh, you're going right to finish the bottom line. Okay. And that will be... Ken Let's go! <laughs> okay, that's your match for Sin Cara now. <laughs> champion, let's go! You're going to have him win the Royal Rumble? <laughs> yeah. My God, he, he very well could. Kane in, in Velasquez. Street, yeah, yeah. My goodness. This uh, is... I, I'm winning. I don't know about you guys. <laughs> you got Kane Velasquez against Commander Aziz, even like. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna dive into the women's side again because it's been this is the only joy I've been getting so far is on the women's <laughs> side. I think uh, J six. Who we get? Oh, Cherry. Yeah, it had to, it had to, uh, the what ballet. A, what a, what a cool Domino. pick! I think, huh? <laughs> yeah. Uh, not a great one, but sweet enough. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I three, I three. Oh, oh my god! Uh, uh, let's talk about that woman's title match, huh, Tony? Uh, I hate my roster. <laughs> yeah, your That'd roster hates you, pal. <laughs> Rob, women's pick for you. Uh, I'm gonna go J. Last one of the J's. Uh, J sixteen. There we go. Leah, Leah. not a bad right. pick. All right, not bad. Not bad in this in the grand scheme of things. I mean, we are talking about big time main events here, people. <laughs> All right, uh, tag team. I'm going to try and dip for Veer and Shank if I can. Uh, come on, come on. Come on. And who would have said in that in that context? I'm going to try and get a Veer and Shanky. Uh, Instead, I get Jim and I. Jim and I. Oh, oh, oh my you God, poor son of a bitch. I don't even oh, remember Jim and I. Uh, Simon Dean's. The uh, twins. They were the di- were they the, di- the Johnsons? No, no. Oh they, oh, they might have been the Johnsons. I don't They're know. The Johnsons. They're, they're definitely not the Dicks because the Dicks are in this list. Uh, let's go. Uh, your tag team, Tony. The last of the ends. Uh, N twelve. That is. Uh, giving you forgotten, forgotten sons. sons. Ah, you know what? Is that all three? Yeah, that's all for Hmm. That could have been worse. A, there, there are some stables in the tag teams column, so. All right, I'm going to go L5, because I just want to get that whole row. L5. Uh, let's go with... Idol Stevens and KC Jones. What, what, what up? Like, that's that's pick. That's a sleeper pick. And Very that's, good. That's uh, Damian Sandow. Yeah, that too. is Damian Sandow, yeah. But uh, obviously, Damon Sandow's not on the list. But uh, that's uh, as their teacher pet gimmick. Yeah, damn right. I mean, that's you're talking to the guy who put uh, London and Kendrick in the main event of WrestleMania. <laughs> I know all about I know Steven the Casey James. <laughs> all right, I'm going to go C two back to the men's side and get myself Sylvan, Sylvan. All mm, right. the male model Sylvan, and a referee Again. if you need it. Yeah, exactly. Not too bad. I'll go E seven. E seven. Bingo. Glenn Gilbert C I'm okay with it compared to some of the other picks. <laughs> Actually, I've just realized something as well. Because I've just checked my uh, list of tag teams as well. I can't actually have Sylvester the Four in it because I've put the Legionnaires in the tag teams. So I'm going to have to find <laughs> right, another absolutely. substitute. Um, I'm trying to think of who would be a good substitute to put on this list now. Um, mm, try and dig them out. It's, it's hard to. Uh, I'm going to 
I'm going to search around a little bit on um, Cage Match quickly. Uh, but uh, I'll, I'll dig out something by the time that uh, we got around to it. Just just so that's like the this will be like the random pick on the uh, in cage match. Yeah, eventually. Uh, I'm okay, gonna go that's, B3. that's me being an, an idiot with my own picks. Uh, Robert, your pick now. B three. B three. Veto. Oh, they can't all be winners. Yeah, it might be one of your worst. <laughs> <ones, also. laughs> okay. Look at you dressing up your uh, roster. Here. <laughs> <laughs> it, could be in, it could be in the women's roster if you want to say something. <laughs> Very good. Uh, I'll trade C9. you, Nicole Bass. <laughs> C9. Uh, Bass. Let's just put that one. Maven. Maven. Not a bad that's pick. Not, that's right. not, yeah, that's not a bad pick. Tough, tough enough winner. Let's go. It's a shame you can't have him against Fake Undertaker. Mm. <laughs> oh, uh, I've so I, I've found your pick, Tony. Uh, you will take uh, based on just someone else that's on this list, but uh, they're essentially a uh, second. Uh, you will take Babu, who was um, Tiger Ali Singh's uh, second in command. Hell yeah! Tony's got Babu and Abdullah Butcher. I don't know who Babu is, but that sounds like it's preparing to me. <laughs> he was the guy that um, he made her uh, do like really disgusting things, like um, uh, I think he had to um, eat dog food and make out with ugly women and stuff like that. He did actually have matches. He was technically a wrestler as well. So. I have no idea who Babu is. That's amazing. Well, I'll, I'll give you a choice. If you don't want Babu, I can give you Sakamoto instead, who was uh, Lord Tensai's. Lord Tensai. The, the guy that Lord Tensai beat up. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take Sakamoto. <laughs> okay, that's that's cool. You can take it. <laughs> okay. Uh, Hopefully, I'll get Tensai. Yeah. Uh, you got. You got. Uh, he is on this list. Yeah. So you can get him. Uh, you'll pick now, Tony. I believe because I just last got the. Uh, I last got Maven. So. Uh, let's go. Uh, D nineteen. D nineteen. Mr. Mr. Hughes. Hughes. Fuck yeah, man. Like, that's a great pick. Somebody's bodyguard. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. Who. I'm going to go bodyguard. A20. Oh, you slash bodyguard, yes, you. Uh, which one, sorry, Rob? A20. A20. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Let's talk about picks. Because when you want... That is uh, Hector Guerrero, right? When you want the top of the shitty picks... You want the comedy gooker, and buddy, I got him. It's Thanksgiving every day from where I am. <laughs> Very uh, thankful for that pick, right? I sure am. Well, Put hopefully, I'll be just champion. Yeah, hopefully, I'll be just as thankful for number F twelve, which is the executioner. executioner. That's technically Terry Gordy, but uh, that's a. Uh, it was a guy who was brought in to uh, team with Mankind briefly. Uh, against the Undertaker, they had like one match with Taker, I think, and then they were like, "Yeah, yeah you're you're gone." Mm. Um, B eighteen, B eighteen, and Papa, Papa Shango. Shango. Okay, cool. I'm down with it. Of course, it has oh, to be Papa yeah. Shango. It's not the Godfather. Yeah, but, but I'm uh, cool with it. That's probably the. The best pick you've gotten so far. That's yeah. <laughs> it's like that and Kozlov, but, I guess. And that that and Abdullah maybe because Abdullah is fantastic. I'm gonna go A. I'll go A ten. A ten. Yeah, we got here. We've got balls, Mahoney. Balls Mahoney. <laughs> oh balls. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> uh, dive back in the women's side. Let's go eight four. Get this little top left section, see if it's uh, got some good stuff. Sarah, Sarah Lee, Lee, the winner of the uh, the original the the winner of Nothing that nobody yeah. cares about. Very yeah. cute. And uh, I don't know what type of cake you got. Or pie. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> uh, I'll go the middle of the eye thing between Oksana and Ariel. Uh, so I too. Be fab. Be fab. Ooh. She had two matches and they were awful. 
That's yeah. fed. I don't care. That's a star making pick right there. You can turn her into whatever you want because she's basically clay. Nobody knows what she could have been. Now, since I just signed her, should I release her? <laughs> <laughs> sure. <laughs> um, I'll go J5. No, I'm going to already have that. Um, uh, no, J5, J5, J5 is J6 cool. is Cherry. So you can, get, you can have J5. Cool. I'll go J5. I would see what it gets. Carmella, this is a. Who the fuck is that? Uh, she was the um, as, if, as far uh, as like, Swagger's wife, right? Uh, no, I don't believe what? so. I believe she was the um, she was the woman who uh, Christy Hemi fought in the finals of the oh, first. Oh yes, 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 yes. Uh, first diva search. Okay. The, uh, she was like, look, she was hired during a certain time. I don't feel bad saying this at all. That is a hell of a looker. And that is what she was hired for. <laughs> we can find something for her to do on the uh, roster. That's something that's going to be a uh, common theme is a lot of the women that are on the women's side of things are actually like, like they were bought into the divas, yeah. super attractive, all that other stuff. But we're building a wrestling card and that's not really going to work out <laughs> all the while. Uh, yeah, I can, you can always have a pillow fight somewhere. Mm, brown panties match or something. Yeah. <laughs> Those... mm. Uh, I'll dive into the tag teams again and go top right into. Ah, uh, this is fun. The Heart for Heart Odds. Odds. Again, not the not the worst. They were they were a decent enough unit. I'll go the top left. Antonio and who were they? I can't. Sorry. Um. Sorry. What was that again? Top left. You're going top left. So L two. L2, okay. Uh-huh. Actually, did Tony pick one? That was Tony. That's my pick. Oh, that, oh, that is Tony's pick. I'm oh, sorry. I'm getting a little confused. Legionette. There you go. Now you got Celeste Laporte. All right, you got Laporte anyway. <laughs> I was just destined to get Blue Media and Sylvester Laporte. I'm going to go M3. Uh, sorry, was that? M3. M3. Okay. Um, get that. Spirit Squad, damn! You got another good Let's pick. Let's go, Dolph Ziggler. You got Love Kenny too. And Kenny and Johnny Nikki. and Mitch <laughs> and Mitch. Okay, like <laughs> Mitch had one match ever. Do you know who that match was against? Ric Flair. Let's go. <laughs> Where are we on now? Uh, next pick. That's my next pick. Uh, dive back into the men sort of things with. Uh, D2, let's try and get the first row um, taken out. Slam Master J. Yeah, B2, is that what you said? It's not showing no, up on my screen. Oh, I've got uh, Slam Master J. Uh, D2. Oh, D2. Yeah, D2, sorry. I didn't take the B1. Hey, Callum, since we're talking about Slam Master J, I gotta ask. Is fake can on this list? Uh, fake Kane is actually not on this list. Uh, oh, I, oh, man. I, I probably, I probably should have done really. I, that... I was thinking of like certain iterations of uh, Luke Gallows' different bad characters, but uh, I think that I thought, would... thought against it in the end. If we end up getting that another would... doubled up scenario, I think that we should. If uh, if Rob picks somebody that's a doubled up, like uh, another yeah. Blue Meanie, then I think that you should totally get uh, yeah. Fake Kane. Yeah, I'm hoping I'm not. I was not that stupid just to put. Uh, maybe the Blue Meanie was just special. <laughs> yeah. So he had to be in there multiple times, but. Uh, but yeah, we we might we might be able to trade someone in. I'll go I'll go B two since I had you mentioned that. Yeah, maybe you'll get Bill Buchanan. <laughs> he, is, he is on the B list. squared. <laughs> no, you battle, get battle cat. cat instead. Christ! <laughs> Another uh, new generation classic there. Oh God! B nine. B nine. It's a benign pick. Let's see what you got Let's see here. See if it's malignant. Rob the Conway. Con man, Rob Conway. I mean, just look at him. <laughs> that is some of the worst entrance music. Look at me. <laughs> arguably, arguably, there's someone on this list with worse uh, entrance music than his, but we'll get to that when we get it. Uh, instead, I'll go with A5 for now. And that gives me... Mason, Mason Riot. Ryan. You know, you oh, can do getting, worse. You're getting some picks. Yeah, that, that, that's, it's a body at the very least. Yeah. It's a uh, fake Batista. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, I could, I could arguably get him after he's done all the Cirque du Soleil stuff, and now he's more flexible, and he can do all that cool <laughs> stuff. I'll go 
C21. All right, let's see who's uh, joining the uh, the dump squad now. <laughs> <laughs> You're getting a pretty bad draft. So I'm, I'm getting a bad draft, bit. yeah. Oh, dear. God damn. <laughs> it just gets worse. <laughs> All right, Tony, 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 you've got General Adnan and Abdul the Butcher. Yeah. You can't do something with that. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> well, we're going to pretty much have to, <laughs> considering <laughs> what I've got. Give me F-17. F-17, just above, oh, just on a bit ahead of the... Uh, Fantasio. Let's go, let's go. Let's go! Damn. He didn't do it. You know what, Tony? It, it wasn't, wasn't his fault. my fault. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta have him punt a baby. <laughs> uh, I don't have to... Oh, you maybe might you could have got a, a baby big that, show in this okay. one. My big show's a baby in this one. <laughs> uh, let's go D8. Try that one out. For D. Bobby hey, Cannon. Bobby Cannon. That's a, he's, he was pretty good. He just had no personality. I'll go between he and Zeus. Right next Zeus. to Gilberti. Okay. Let's see. You're hoping that you bunched up together with that? Maybe they'll get some luck? I have no idea what I'm going to Nails. Oh, there's nails. Oh. <laughs> I'm disappointed you didn't get him. I'm going to go... E11. E11, let's see. Under the goon? David Samortino, another one of the uh, second generation all right, all right. Well, look, look. wash-ups. The cannon, the cannon will be great. <laughs> yeah, WrestleMania event. Well, I, I can't remember. Which WrestleMania did you team with uh, Bruno in? Was it free? The, the, only, the only one. First one. Oh, the first one. No. Yeah. Uh, go back to the women's side. Uh, bottom left, H sixteen. Oh, Jimmy Keys. Uh, the the like in a like the NXT season three, the worst NXT season of all time, the worst person on the worst season of NXT. Yeah. Also. Good looking, but yeah. <laughs> Not, uh, not working out now. I, I got two good picks. I top le- top heavy to really that one. I'll go to the right of her next to Aaliyah. Okay. I'll round out that bottom list. Aaliyah. And you'll do that with Tori. Tori, damn. <laughs> but she fought Sable at WrestleMania 15. That's, That's not saying much. It could, be, it could be a lot worse, that one. Yeah, but look at my <laughs> the women yeah, I've no, got. I know, it's been pretty bad. But... I mean, yeah, you're fine. Um, all right, so choice? let me go... To above above Tori, above Tori between Tori and Kelly Kelly, somewhere we'd all like to be. Eva <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. Murray>. go. <laughs> yeah, her against Carmella, I guess. <laughs> that is yeah. a star. I mean, come on, man. You could uh, have her Rob's, trip over herself. To this. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, it's early in the morning. We gotta gotta, gotta keep the energy high here. <laughs> I'll go between the uh, Legionnaires and the Bushwhackers for my next tag team. Power and Glory. Power and Glory. Uh, that's a, yeah, Hercules, Hernandez, and Paul, Paul Bromer. Hercules, Hercules. Let's go M, whatever the bottom one is. M12. Tony. The, the Dicks. dicks. Oh my I'm god. Gonna go, I, mean, I mean, you're going to land on a slightly better one soon, Tony. There's, like, there's I'm a little round. Go I'm going to go M4. Between the Spirit Squad and Techno Team 2000. And that gives you. Come on. Let's. Let's Damn. go! Damn it. Yeah. <laughs> it had to be. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> he caught the yes, Mabel. Mabel, yes! Uh, Rob is totally getting my roster. You got Mabel, yeah. you got Bam Neely. <laughs> All right, this, this is my only highlight of the day. That's why I'm so high. <laughs> All right, I'll, I'm going underneath Vladimir Kozlov, F3. Paul Birchall. Paul Birchall, damn, that's a good pick. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's pretty good. That's, that's, it, this is pirate Paul Birchall. Yeah. I'll go next to Golga on the left. Yeah, um, yeah so... E5 gives you Tyler Rex. Tyler Rex. Ah, not a big fan. Give me, give me a 
A18. A18. Is that the end? It's like bingo. It's like playing like, yeah. like worst bingo ever. Give me. Come on. Kenzo Suzuki. Oh, boy. That's, uh, that's a phenomenal pick, given this list. Almost a, a one point uh, thing to be called Hirohito. Of the uh, Japanese emperor that led them into World War Two. Really? <laughs> That's, uh, yeah. That's terrible. I'll go go just above Skinner with D twelve. Hornswoggle. Hornswoggle. All right. What the fuck I'm gonna uh... do with him? <laughs> That's a McMahon. What the fuck do you mean? What are you gonna do with him? Let's go A thirteen. A thirteen. It's you. Jonathan Coach. Coach. <laughs> <laughs> oh, B- the B- 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 You're getting 18. rinsed. Tony's getting fucked. Uh, what was your pick, bro? B18. B18. Um, yeah. uh, that's uh, Pub Shango. Oh, oh you got uh, E18. E18. Oh, E18. Sorry. Um. Imagine at this point, I'm just imagining it's going to be like Ric Flair or something. Right? Like, yeah. Jeez. <laughs> Come on. Go oh, there. <laughs> I mean, you've heard about a uh, Super Showdown. Never mind that shit. Where you see fake Undertaker against Gilbert. <laughs> Nobody. Actually, you could do that. That'd be good. <laughs> uh, let's go F15. Three times more powerful than F5. <laughs> Duke the, Duke the jumpster Tony needed that pick. <laughs> I know. Taking up trash. <laughs> I'll go F20. Four times more doing? powerful. <laughs> how you doing, uh, Tony? How, how you feeling right now? Awful. <laughs> we'll see after this pick. We'll see after this pick. Oh, there we go. God. <laughs> <laughs> Who'd you get? Who'd you get? Man? I got Reich. <laughs> oh, that's a great pick, Tony. Tony, come on. Oh man, this is so terrible. I should put Michael Cole on this list, really, because he did technically wrestle a couple of times. <laughs> That'd be a great tag. You can have, you have a, a, match in the, a match in the bathroom still. Maybe I'll have to be <laughs> that. Uh, he'll have to go after Jonathan Coachman, I guess. Rob. Um, give me D6. That's uh, Zeus, D6. the one above Zeus. Oh, the one above Zeus, D5, then. Uh, that will give you the Berserker. Berserker. Not bad. Not bad. But I'm Resident Viking. Listen, guys, I, I look on the positives, and I think that's why I'm having a good time here while you guys are just following <laughs> in the sadness. <laughs> yeah, to be honest, Rob would probably just actually legitimately draw off this roster. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, he's like, let's go. Like, this, this is it. Uh, J12 for the women. Women. Deborah. Yeah, you had some puppies. And some cookies. <laughs> I'll go, uh, um, <laughs> J, uh, eight. J, J, eight. Eight. Blue, Blue pants. Leave a bait. Leave a bait. There we go. That's the name. She's <laughs> clearly my, my champion right now at this point. <laughs> um, Blue pants. I'm gonna go right next to blue pants and go uh, in the middle. I. I ate. I ate. I did. Mm. <laughs> what did you eat? That's some toast. <laughs> Shaniqua. Shaniqua, Linda Miles. Uh, oh man. Oh, that's a match for Khabib the V. Let me tell you what. <laughs> Someone I tricked right there. Might be um, good to pick another uh, woman because I think we're a, woman? a little bit. Yeah, uh, we've, we've kind of uh, we've got a few more, so let's go with then A seven, and that will give me oh Tony's favorite. <laughs> I kind of really hope that Tony got that one. So she that's... she won a uh, she won an award at the very least. <laughs> yeah, I, I wanted Tony to get her. Yeah, Cal and Switcher. So let's do the four. Ethan Nicole Bass and that. <laughs> I'll go with the pick underneath her. Uh. J3? Yep. We'll get Rosa. Maybe oh, she. You know what? This. She's gonna win a match. <laughs> I'm gonna. Be, I'm gonna be nice to her. I'm. I'm gonna go. I'll go J3. J3. 
Jillian Hall. She's a champion. You know you packed me. Yeah. <laughs> Former Divas champion for all of about two minutes. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'll go another tag team then. I'll take uh, L11, just above the Highlanders. 11. Um, Fake Razor, Razor and Diesel. Oh, damn. damn it. Do you understand? I would have I popped if I had gotten Fake Razor and Diesel. I would have been happy if what I got out of them too. Yeah. Yeah, fuck. But especially well, if you would have gotten oh, fake Undertaker, totally fake possible. Razel, and fake Diesel, that would have been yeah. great. Yeah, I probably should put fake Kane in it, but I just it just slipped my mind. Um, I'll go L. That's my turn. It's tiny stick. Uh, I'll go. Wait till you get your good pick. <laughs> I'll go above Los Matadores. Uh, above Los Matadores, we'll give you. Oh, Beer you took Beer and Chunky uh-huh. away from there. <laughs> um, you know, I'll go above Beer and Chunky just to. Round out some of this. Oh, cool. can do that and give you PG thirteen. What? Oh, like I am getting a sick roster. Like, you gonna uh, pair them with men on a mission? <laughs> no, no, they're gonna fight. They're gonna. They're gonna. Yeah, that's, that's what I mean. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah, uh, gonna, it's gonna be a great match, Tony. Back to the men. B fourteen. Connor oh, Reeves, not a bit. That is the finest pick so far, I think. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to say I'm really glad you got that because I'd have been pissed. <laughs> I'll go under fake Undertaker. Under fake Undertaker. Under fake. Orlando, Orlando Jordan. Jordan. Yeah, not all that bad considering. Yeah. He might actually be the best wrestler you have so far. <laughs> <laughs> That's saying something. <laughs> it's not saying much, uh, but it is saying a lot. I'll go D. I'll go D4 next to your fake Undertaker. And that will give you... Kevin <laughs> Federline. <laughs> My god! Oh, Raw main that, event of Kevin Federline. That is Federline. star power! He has a win over John Cena on he his has, record. He has links to Britney Spears, the Kevin Federline, Kate Ben, you know, Put him alongside PG-13. <laughs> You really could do that, actually. That was pretty good. Really good. That's sad. <laughs> it's a real shame Fred Durst never had a match. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna go just above Lars Sullivan. This is now. If Fred Durst was in a match. Would he be in a no DQ match because he wants to break stuff, or would he be in like a ladder match Parking where he'd have to front. grab uh, the nookie? <laughs> I'll tell you one thing. That's a brawl where he'd be rolling. And I'll tell you one thing, Tony. He's gonna do things my way. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Or it's the highway. Mike uh, Knox. But, uh, That's Mike a... Knox, uh, NWA um, number one contender. Main event there, yeah. as of like a week ago or whatever. But, he, like, uh, he would have been a really good pick I would have liked to have grabbed. I thought Kelly Kelly as well. Oh, there you go. Ah. There you... Um, let's go between Damien Demento and Mr. Hughes. See. Maybe I'll get something. <laughs> Oh my god, why is Jean Snitsky here again? <laughs> why do I keep oh, getting the double up? Why do I put in Snitsky and Jean Snitsky? Why do I find multiple ways to say terrible stuff? <laughs> I'm just, uh, you're just picking the, you're doubling up on stuff. I so really am. Just, yeah, you're just manifesting these into existence. Clearly, <laughs> I couldn't have done anything wrong. <laughs> yeah, fuck you, Tony. <laughs> okay, Tony, I found your pick already. You will take Camacho. Uh, I'll take it. <laughs> Because, uh, to be fair, he's done better since he's, he became a Tonga Loa. He's Tonga Loa. Listen, you're, you're doing all right, Tony. Don't let me say you otherwise. I'll I did have between, some substitutes. Yeah. I'll take between Snitsky and Duke Jersey. So, F15, 16 maybe? Okay, let's look at this. I see there he is. I want you guys to understand, I have fake Undertaker and Isaac Yankum. You have fake Diesel. No, I have No, Callum is fake Diesel. Oh, wait, no, you have... Oh, okay. Yeah, I got fake Diesel and you have Isaac Yankum, so yeah. realistically. And that would be like the greatest triple threat match ever. Isaac Yankum versus fake Diesel versus Kai. <laughs> uh, I'll pick... Goes between Slam Master Jay and Kevin Federline, who seem to have more in common than maybe they actually realised. <laughs> and that'll give me... Oh. <laughs> who? who do I Ooh. pick? Yeah. <laughs> Jim Neidhart. Could be worth. 
Uh, I really wish they would have gotten around to making what? Fucking right now. They could have had a whole stable. Who, what, where, when, and why. And then mm-hmm. all, every once in a while, uh, how could have popped up. <laughs> Yeah, there's some real tasty ones still to pick for the uh, the uh, on all of these ones still for. So far. All right, I'll go B seven. B seven. B seven. B seven. Damn me for <laughs> the NXT breakout star. She's gonna be a big deal. Oh shit! Here comes the mojo. <laughs> He had the worst case of back knee I've ever seen. Hmm. <laughs> I'm going to go A23. It's going to sound good again, isn't it? Probably. <laughs> Come on. The best of Turkey. All right. All right. We'll, we'll live. We'll live. We got a uh, roster. Yeah. They're teamed with, uh, what was his name? What was, what was he called in? The Pope, yeah. But uh, uh, Elijah Burke. Uh, I'll go, they'll dip back into the women's side of things. I think it's time. Go under Dana Brooke. The cat. cat. Former women champion. My God, he's got kitties, puppies, cookies. <laughs> Cows. He's got a women's division for Jerry Lawler to drool over. I've got, I've got kitties, kitties, puppies, puppies cookies, Kellys. A cherry. <laughs> cherry. And, and some cherry pie. On top. And the sour pie. And the sour pie. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go uh, between Rosa and Maxine. Rosa and Maxine. Let's see what you get. Lana. Lana. Oh, right. That, that's the best pick you've gotten. Okay. There is no... Nia table. Jax is available. Nia Jax is available to be picked in this one, so... <laughs> could get All the right, ultimate feud there. I'm gonna go B... I'm gonna go above Shaniqua. Go above Shaniqua. Come on. Big money, big money, big money. Terry Runnels. Yeah. I actually would have wanted to... Uh, no, maybe not. <laughs> All right, you got uh, you got one half of PMS. Uh, uh, let's. I might as well take another woman. I think there's still plenty to go, so yeah. I'll go with H thirteen. Santana Garrett. 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 Okay. I, I'd pick that mainly because I just thought her NXT run was pretty uh right. Yeah. Right. But huh? on the grand scheme of things, not not one of the worst picks. I gotta be uh, under Jillian. Jesse Kamea. Jesse Kamea. You know, I liked, I liked I liked Jesse Kamea. Like yeah. Um I'll go right next to Terry Reynolds and in between Cherry and Blueprint. Sounds like you're directing something. Christy Hemi. All right. Look, I've got some backstage interviewers. I've got some ring announcers. <laughs> you need a full roster, guys. She did and a... I've got the, the classic. Christy Hemi and Carmella, whatever. Yeah. Girl fight. And there you go. We're running it back. Yeah, the uh, first ever Diva Search winner. She did fight for the women's title at WrestleMania 21. So, God, we got, they were there's a pedigree there. We got six more rounds of the women. Mm-hmm. And we've got, what, one, two, three, got five more tag four, team. five rounds of the tag teams. And then there's just a few more of the men. So, we'll go with one more tag team and then we'll dive into some more men. And I'll take just above the dicks. <laughs> you go just above the dicks and get the Yukon lumber. So the play around the like who, the waist. The who the fuck who? Uh, the Yukon lumberjacks, Callum. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I might have to actually even search for that one a little bit because I know I, I know I picked it for a reason. Uh, the Yukon lumberjacks, a uh, press press tag team that works in the uh, World Wide Wrestling Federation in 1978. What the fuck is it? All right, yeah. of Eric and Pierre. No they idea. Were, who they, they were. Tag they, 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 they weren't. They weren't good. They were very. They were very lowly rated. So I decided to put them in there. So like, ah, we need some classic people in there. All right, I'm gonna go right next to the Yukon Lumberjacks. Oh, wait, well, it's my got turn. Tony's pick there. Ah, oh, well, fuck off. You keep jumping well, you the guns, Rob. You I'm gonna Tony pick the bad one, then you pick the good one. I'm gonna go right where he was gonna pick. I'm gonna steal your pick just in case. <laughs> Which one was that? Underneath powers of pain. Okay. All right. Maybe that'll give me something good. Slater Gator, Slater yes! Gator. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> All right, you know what? I'll have it. Um, I'll go right next to the Gemini. Right next to them. Let's see what it gives you. This would have been my pick. So, done. Well, <laughs> so I stole your pick and you took my bad one good. Uh, you know what? I would totally do something with all that. Now you're right? cooking, right? 
Yeah. Rename them medium rare instead. Yeah. That's how everybody likes them, right? <laughs> uh, I'm going to go right back to the men. Go between Virgil and Golga. Not a place where most people want give myself a slap. slap oh, <laughs> baby. Let's. That's that's the money right there. That's count. true mean potential right there. I'll go right to the right of Bam Neely. To the right of Bam Neely. Couldn't quite get him, so you'll get the guy right next to him. Adam Rose. Adam Rose. Oh, 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 oh. oh, oh, oh. oh. He's, oh. Have a weird, uh, he's actually too good in the ring. He's going to have a weird set of people following him with Fantasio and stuff. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm going to go underneath the missing link. Underneath the missing link, and that gives you... Man Mountain Rock. Oh, I mean, you've got. On. Look at it this way: you got Man Mountain Rock, Men on a Mission, PG thirteen, and Kevin Federline. You can just do a musical yeah. thing. Yeah. So, yeah, some say some say the real, the original precursor to Rick Boogs. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'll go up between Blue Meanie and Bam Neely. Hopefully, it's not another iteration of the Blue Meanie. <laughs> uh, Percy, Percy Watson. Watson. Damn, I actually would have wanted time, to maybe. get him. Not bad. Again, not great. I'm definitely Pretty not putting bad. him on commentary, but that's uh, that's another hint or there. I'll go next to uh, Blue Mini. I'm uh, not uh, next to Bam Neely on the other side, <laughs> under Kona okay. Reeves. Let's see. That gives you just as much luck as Adam Rose. Yeah. Virgil. Virgil. Okay. I mean, I okay. Mean that's, you've essentially got Ric Flair in this case. <laughs> uh, I'm turning I'm, up now, Tony. I'm gonna go underneath Vito. Underneath Vito. Riddick, Riddick Moss. Moss. That um, money. He is very Some low rated on cage match. Mad cap. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> I, I was originally not going to put him in, but then I saw his uh, cage match rating and thought, uh, I kind of probably have to now. <laughs> I've got mad cap, son. Like, Riddick Moss, <laughs> yeah. great pick. Uh, I will take uh, between Skinner and Rose. And that will give me Saxon, Saxon Huxley. Huxley. I wanted to make sure that we included one of the worst rated people in our original uh, WWE draft. So we did. I'll go next to who? Who, oh. that? who is this? Uh, who is Rad Radford? Rad Radford. Oh, hey, guys. Uh, Mr. Coley in another life. That's up your, that's up your alley. Uh, I'm going to go A4. Top A4. four lines already taken. Yeah. Let's go, let's go, let's go. With this pick, Rodney Mack. I mean, a lot of white boys on this list. I don't know if I have any of them, but <laughs> that's a white boy challenge for David San Martino at the very least. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, in which case, I'll take uh, C17. Makes the Damien Demento right here. Mojo, Mojo Raleigh. Raleigh. Not a bad pick, all things yeah. considered. At least you got hype. I'll go it's, it's really on between Goldberg and Brooklyn Brawler. Daniel Pewter. Hmm. Oh, tell me how you, you feel. No, at least you've know <sighs> got a good shoot fight you can put up. Talk about <laughs> tell me how you're feeling, Tony. Sad. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to go to the right of Gilberg. The right of Gilberg. And that will give come you... On, come on. Scotty Scotty Goldman. Goldman. Oh, Damn. Cabana. I mean, talk about a boom boom. You know what I'm saying? You are definitely getting some damn good picks here. Yeah. All right. Uh, let's do another woman's pick. And I'll go just under Nicole Bass. There's Nia There's Jax. Nia Jax. <laughs> I mean, Nicole Bass ain't like most girls, but neither is Nia Jax. I've got my women's champion sorted, I think. <laughs> I'll um, go under Deborah. Ashley Masaro. Masaro. Okay. Not bad. Uh, Not bad. Another, another one of the uh, Diva Search women that got their shot at WrestleMania. Give me, uh, I'll go under Nia. Under Nia, yeah. Undeniable pick. Barbara, Barbara Bush, Bush or BB. I mean, I'm gonna have such good brawn panties pillow fights, guys. <laughs> the mad, the women that I am getting are really round enough to just okay, we're gonna have pillow fights. 
All right. Uh, dive into another character team. Take underneath Idle Stevens and Casey Jones and get myself Public Enemy. Public Enemy? Now, I'd almost argue that they're too good for this list. Callum's main event is going to be a tag team match at this point. I'll go between Public Enemy and Gemini. Uh, Public Enemy and Gemini. And that will give you the Dude, the dude Busters. Busters. You right, know what? You got I got Trent. <laughs> who, who is he paired with, Tony? Kaylin Croft. That's, that's the name. There we go. I'm going to go to the right of Well Done. And I'll give you Head Cheese. I got Steve Blackman, bitches. I, I, I see a winner in that pick. I got yeah. Steve Blackman. You got him and Al Snow. Steve Blackman versus Cave Velasquez is going to be the main event of this card. Now. <laughs> like, I was actually quite surprised that you added them to this list, though. It was like uh, listed as one of the worst tag teams ever. So I was just like, I don't know, maybe. Yeah, yeah, you you can have Chester Cheese as soon as you want. Can I can I have Chester Cheese and Kenny against uh, uh, El Torito? <laughs> sure, why not? Uh, We're having fun here. Uh, um, Tony's not. But, um. Yeah, he's not. <laughs> no, he's not. Uh, right of David Flair. Back to the men's side. Eugene, Eugene. you know oh, you could. Th- oh, this is problematic. <laughs> <laughs> well, like let's. Gimmick aside, he still had great matches. Right. Yeah, he, he's still yeah, Nick Densmore. So Nick, Nick Densmore yeah. was a great wrestler. I'll go under Commander Aziz above Kona Reeves. Okay. Lucky oh, Cannon. God, God damn right. it. God damn it. <laughs> I'll, I'll go to the right of uh, Skinner. Right of Skinner. Matt damn Morgan. it. I was sitting there thinking that I should go with that pick. <laughs> Uh, I would have. I would have totally a, made a vetted Matt Morgan. <laughs> this is pure. This is pure stuttering, Matt Morgan. Uh, I uh, got Kevin Velasquez. He can knock the stutter out of him. <laughs> I'll go next to the Goldie Gooker. Uh, <laughs> you got yourself a great mustache that you don't have. Uh, Callum, if you don't do Uncle Uncle Elmer against Eli Cottonwood, <laughs> I don't know what you're doing, pal. Oh, God, that is. Oh, I hate Elon Cottonwood. <laughs> I'll go above Velasquez. Above Velasquez. Between Velasquez and Jesus. That's <laughs> it. Oh, there it is! Oh, oh my the god. Draft. That's the whole reason this draft exists. Good lord, this roster sucks. <laughs> Rob. Oh, I know um, who's going to be in my big man buffet. <laughs> I, I'm going to go... Let's see, where am I going here? I'm going go to the right of Jinder Mahal. Right, Jinder Mahal, let's see. Adrian Adonis. Look, great pick. Every time I that see- I see Adrian Alanis when dark, I'm always just mm-hmm. like, wait, what? And then it takes me a second. All right. Under Orlando Jordan. Tom McGee. What, Tom like McGee. The, one half of one of the most famous matches of all now, time. Now, now Callum, now Callum. You've got Eugene, mm. who can pull out quite a match from Mega Man Tom McGee. You also have Zeus. Think of that what you will. I'll go uh, under Tyler Rex, above Glenn Gilberti. It's an interesting place to find yourself. <laughs> Question <laughs> broker. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> it's, like you're, it's like you're just cherry picking the absolute worst. Uh, all right, I'm gonna go a fourteen. A fourteen. Jesus Christ! My God! Yeah, no, this is so. Max oh, Moon. You Max know Moon. what? I can think of worse things. If I would have got Max Moon, it would have been Max Moon versus uh, Battle Cat. <laughs> yeah, be good. I- I'd watch that match. Uh, take another women's pick. I'll go between Barbara Bush and Terry Runnels. Joe Jojo Offerman. That's a ring announcer, if nothing else. Hell yeah. She did try and wrestle for a little bit. Oh. She did, didn't she? Hmm. Yeah, she did. I'll go above Kelly Kelly. Yeah, she got to look at the positive in life. Like... <laughs> Jack Jack Jack. I'm supposed to look at the positive, <laughs> One half of one of the she worst matches so of the me. year awards. I, I, Callum, would you not agree that she looks so good to you? 
she looks good. <laughs> I, 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 I don't know why I was doing um, Eve, Eve, like Eve Torres is the uh, theme music. Um, uh, what's, your, what's your pick, I'll Carl? Go, I'll go H right next to Eva on the left side. Right next to Eva on the left side, okay. Yeah. Come on. Marina Shafir. Marina Shafir. All right, so, so look, I've got the weirdest women's roster right now, so I think Marina Shafir might just have to beat the shit out of you. <laughs> all right uh only a few more tag teams left to pick actually there are only two more tag teams left to pick so we might just uh leave them for a little while make sure we've got Let's get to uh go back, go back to the men's one for a little bit and take a 11 under balls mahoney special, special delivery, delivery jones, jones. He was in the, was he in he was in one of the first wrestlemania matches right wasn't he uh, he got fucking squashed by king kong bundy in five seconds yeah. Congratulations, Callum. Very good. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> I'll go between Executioner and Adrian Adonis. Kamala. Kamala. I could do worse. All right. All right. All right. I see. I can't. Best could best do worse. Best. I've been doing worse. Let's go, <laughs> yeah, that's one of your let's best go under uh, Tom McGee. Let's see what we got here. Under Tom McGee. That'll give you T.L. Hopper. Oh. Uh, Okay. That pick goes right down the toilet. Uh, let's let's stick uh, between David San Martino and Matt Morgan. Aki Bono. That's a fantastic pick. I mean, <laughs> talk about big. Talk about big. He would have totally been in a big man buffet. Yeah. You compare him with the Gemini. Maybe you can get him to play that <laughs> a little bit. You know. I'll go under Kevin Thorne on the right. Under Kevin Fawn. All oh, right. James, James Ellsworth. Ellsworth. Fuck. <laughs> I'll go to the left of the goon. Left of the goon. Uh, Come on. Oh, I'm struggling to find the goon. <laughs> where is the goon on here? Uh, yeah, uh, I think it's C. It's uh, so D9, D- I think. D10. Oh, D9. Oh, oh, there we go. Yeah, found it. Aiden O'Shea. No idea who that is, actually. Okay, uh, I need he, to Google that real quick. He was part of the um, ECW like New Talent Initiative. He was, um, I believe, an Irish wrestler. No, I mean, oh, that's, that's uh, Boom Bradley. Okay, I know who that yeah. is. All right. No clue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, there's, there's definitely like, well, actually, it was been that time you were watching. He came back in like 2006, so he came back. He was a part of like just. Yeah, part of these, like, you know, those types where they brought in, like, Kofi Kingston, Sheamus, all those other people. He was just one of those people mm. that just never made it. Um, Mentor, uh, next to Isaac oh, Yankum. Next to Isaac Yankum. Who we got? Simon Dean. I got oh, you got Simon Dean and the Gemini. Let's go. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, there we go. That makes sense. I'll go to the right of Adam Rose. Right above Simon Dean. Right above Simon Dean. Luther Luther Reigns. Reigns. You could be like that moron that thought uh, Roman was the one being investigated. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'll go A15. A15. Come on, let's go. Ezekiel well, Jackson. Yeah. Oh, God damn. Cold domination. Am I right or am I right? I Last think ever ECW champion. Intercontinental champion. He single-handedly carries the legacy of Extreme on his back. It's a big back, too. I mean, Ezekiel Jackson, let's go. If I would have gotten him, he probably would have been my champion. Yeah, no. <laughs> um, uh, let's go ahead of this up above Sin Cara and get... Oh, my God. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. You know what they say about Kerwin White? If it's not, no, I'm not going to do it. <laughs> Can't do it. Uh, Got a really uh, made feud between him and Percy Watson. <laughs> <laughs> I'll oh, go God. under Ricky Ortiz on the left. Under Ricky Ortiz on the left. Let's see. Son the of zombie. a bitch. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Fantastic. How the I'll fuck am I going to make a roster out of this? I'll go under Suzuki. And uh, Kenzo Suzuki. Bull Dempsey. Damn, uh, dude. I, I mean, there you go. I can't complain here. 
You can't complain after I just picked the zombie. Uh, okay, let's see. How many? How, how many is, Zach, is Ezekiel Jackson on the list? How is he rated so low? He was, re- he, he was he's like, he's a re- Tony. Yeah, like, nobody really likes Ezekiel Jackson. Realistically, I, I can name he's okay. It like, if you, if like one of your signature moves is doing like five body slams in a row, that's kind of <laughs> that kind of limits you to an extent. <laughs> And I, Tony, they can't all be the zombie. Like we had to, we had to stack out a little bit of that. Wait, point. is, is Ahmed on this list? Uh, Ahmed is not on this list because you picked him in the. It was it was one of the uh, rules if somebody got picked as part of the um like the main uh, top one hundred. I I look put some respect on his name. I'm glad he's not on this list. <laughs> mm. I mean, I mean, there are some exceptions. Like you've got men on the mission, so Mabel technically you did pick Mabel, but men on the mission you get Mo as well, and so that's the yeah and Oscar and. And and obviously, uh, Dolph Ziggler was picked, but he's Nicky on the Spirit Squad, so that's different. Yeah, and Kane, Isaac Yankum. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, so I'll go between David Flair and Balls Mahoney, and get hold of Outback Jack. Don't even know who that is. Oi, mate! I mean, another he was pair, pair him with Jack. Yeah, he was another guy in like the um like the rock and wrestling era that was just. Uh, uh, like the Australian stereotype, he's basically what Shane Form became before he, he was played. Nine, he's gonna play Nike Spoonie with Slapjack. Yeah. So look at this: you've got Outback Jack, Slapjack, Slapjack. and the and the Yukon Yum- Lumberjacks. <laughs> you got oh. Jack, yeah, you Jack, got, and the you Jacks. Jack. You got Jack, pal. You could just have yeah, the no, four Jacks together. Oh, trust me, my um. And like, you got if, 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 if I was if <laughs> yeah. I was doing a if I was building a, a poet a poem rather than a wrestling <laughs> card, I'd be in a really good place right now. <laughs> Um, uh, Tony's pick. Uh, I'm taking to being in the middle. Let's see. I'll go between Tail Hopper and Maven. C8. Right, Brodus Clay. Okay. Oh, wow. All right. You got a world That's champion that, that, on your hand. He might actually be. He world legitimately champion. might have to be my world champion. <laughs> uh, uh, well. I'll go underneath SD Jones. All right. Underneath SD Jones. What's under that special deliver? The Mountie. The Mountie. Not a bad pick. <laughs> You could do a whole lot worse than the Mountie. You know, I'm, I'm just like I'm. Just, I think I might be the only one, but I'm just waiting for Great Kylie because he just hasn't popped oh, up well, yet. That's, that's right. Well, yeah, well, nobody's well, gotten Kylie. Well. Yeah. Uh, let's go with this. Um, there's like three picks left for the women, so let's pick one now. Uh, I'll take uh, underneath the cat. Marty, Marty Bell. Bell. Marty Bell's great. Like, Tell that to her match that she had in the yeah. Classic. And to be fair, I've watched her matches since match. she became the NWA Women's Tag Champion. I'm still not impressed. Oh, uh, go! You you yeah. keep skipping me. <laughs> Tony, you should just take it at this point. It seems to be the one. I'll go next to Kelly Kelly on the left. Uh, Birth of fate, uh, son of a bitch! No, come on. That's Bertha. Cha- Former women champion. That's uh, at this point. That's who we're going for here. <laughs> like, I'll go underneath Marty. Vanessa, Vanessa Bourne. Uh, I got nothing. Like Hi. my women's roster, I got nothing. Like I can't even be like, well, I saw that one thing that you did. <laughs> like, uh, I'll go uh, penultimate tag team pick. Go between head cheese and the powers of pain. Gross. <laughs> the Beverly Brothers. Oh, they're pretty great. I'll go to the left of powers of pain. The left of powers of pain. That gives you... The Godwins. Godwins, yes! Yes! <laughs> you've, actually got a decent, you've actually got a decent tag team. Yes! Right there, so. Oh, I'm happy I got the Godwins. They're my fucking tag team champions. <laughs> I'll go to the left of the Godwins. I will, I will also put it out there that even though the Godwins is here, Naked Midian is in the men's list as well. Nice. <laughs> so you could get both, Tony, if you're lucky. Yeah, if I'm lucky, right? Headbangers. Let's go! The headbangers. That's, the Rob. that's a good pick. I mean, I mean, honestly, look at these tag teams, man. Some great tag teams. I think this goes to show how underutilized tag team wrestling is. Because look at some of these teams on this list. Mm. I'm trying to see how many picks I've got. Quite so. Go 
we we'll ended with like a small round of the men, but we got some got plenty of picks still to go. Oh, underneath Golga, let's go. Come on, Kurgan. Kurgan. I oh, mean, God. got them right next to each other. You put the out of these together. Yeah. yeah. Pretty offensive, Callum. I'll go under Kurgan. Let's see what happens. You get keep following that line down. <laughs> or Aaron Saxton. Aaron Saxton. Uh, you know what? Yeah, I'm cool with it. I'll go underneath the pug. Underneath the pug. B6. Yep, you've got it. Armando Estrada. Estrada. Picks because he did wrestle for a little bit after he got stripped as being. So is Brandon Walker on this list? He is on this list. He's got it, yeah. He was one of the first names put on this list. (laughs) And I might, hopefully, I don't find him here above Hornswoggle. Yeah, right, fine. Now, right. now, now you spoke him into existence, Rob. Good, good, good on you, Muhammad Hassan. I mean, honestly, that's a main event. That, yeah. Now uh, I've got him. Ver- oh, I've got him versus Kobe White. Excellent. Uh, I'll um, go left of Simon Dean under Adam Rose. D sixteen. D sixteen. Ricardo Rodriguez. <laughs> I mean, that's not a bad pick. He's not going to be a main eventer, I'll tell you that. I'll go above David Flair. Above David Flair. But A7. Bill DeMott. Bill DeMott. Not exciting, but like he can he can do a moonsault. I say what? Say what? Uh, oh, God. Just, I want to find Carly. I really need Carly because I've got Jinder. I need Carly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you, you heard it here first, folks. Callum needs Carly. Callum is a great Carly stan. Yeah. <laughs> Between Bam Neely and Mojo Rawley. DJ Gabriel. Gabriel. Another one of those ECW, like, no hopers. Give me E17. For some reason, I'm thinking that that's Carly. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna try to take them from you. But right in the middle of all this stuff. Ho ho oh, no, no, I really no! want Rob to get that one. <laughs> I really want Rob to get that one. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, ho ho loon was was for me, but alas, I'll go a twenty one. A twenty one. I guess it's fitting because you got a bam nee lady. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what we got here? Come on. We got Zoya Fulton. Zoya Fulton. You know, I could do worse. You got Madman and got Madcap. Let's go. Okay. I think we'll go Penelman Wins pick. Oh, actually, only, actually, we've got more Wins pick than that. Got, we've got three Wins pick yeah. left. One, Miscount. two, three, yeah. Yeah, three Wins pick. So let's go with this uh, women's pick then and take the one under blue pants. What are those pants hiding? Probably blue socks. Joy Giovanni. A superstar. Let me tell you what. You <laughs> put Joy Giovanni in the middle of a world championship picture for some reason. I'll go above Aaliyah. Above Aaliyah. Aaliyah. Crystal Marshall. Marshall. Hmm. Bobby La- Mrs. Bobby Lashley. Oh, well, one time. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll go above Deborah. And that'll give you. Dormeray. Oh, look, it's not that I don't like my roster. It's that I want to do something other than Braun Petty's matches. <laughs> You're right. That's all I'm looking at on my end. I'm like, uh, well, you know. <laughs> uh, let's go penultimate tag team then. And between Well Done and the Godwins. The Bolsheviks. It's, uh, Nikolai Volkov and... And Boris uh, Zukov. And Boris Zukov, yeah. That's, again, that's... You got Pudsky. <laughs> Yeah, could do something with that. And and Kozlo. No, I'll try to have Kozlo. Ah, uh, yeah. Jumping on the tag thing, Tony. Under Gemini. The Gemini. The Blue Brothers. Oh, brothers. okay. All right, that's that's a pick for Tony. Um, I'm going to team them with Blue Meanie. <laughs> why? Because <laughs> Blue and Blue. Why, why, are you, why are you like this? <laughs> Can everybody hear, by the way? Can anybody hear uh, construction? No. 
Okay, yeah. good. Hopefully, if if you guys do hear construction at any point, I apologize. That's uh. He lives in New York I thought that was just. I thought that was just like a ring in my head going through these entire sheets. <laughs> no, it's, it's, if somebody's drilling no. somewhere, and no. I have no ability to stop that. So. <laughs> no, I can't hear it anyway. I was just joking. That's fine. Uh, your penultimate pick, Rob. Uh, yeah, right next to the dude busters. Right next to the dude busters, will give you. Deuce and Domino. I Damn. Mean, I'm all about cool. That's a phenomenal pick when you look at the dog shit that's on this yeah. list. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so got two two wounds pick left to make. Got a few more men. Got one more tag team. So dive into the men a little bit. I'll go try and finish off the A column. Take number six. A six. A six. Tensai. Damn. 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 I wanted him. You needed him. You had Sakamoto. Sakamoto, yeah. yeah. I'll go, uh, I'll finish the A. Let's see what we got here. Ludwig Borger. <laughs> All uh, right. I guess he's teaming with Kozlov. <laughs> yeah. Really, that's the best you can do? That, that man, uh, okay, I don't know what I would do with Ludwig Borger. I don't know why you'd want to do that, Tony. you got the best tag team roster ever. That's probably so. <laughs> um, I'll go above chains. Let's see what we got. Colin Delaney. Colin Delaney. You got right. the underdog at the very least. They're I don't want to I need, I need fucking... someone with a horn swoggle to fight. <laughs> um, you might still be a great Kylie. <laughs> put him again. And I might do that if yeah. I pick him, pick him above uh, Mike Knox. Do it. Oh, buff. <laughs> I got the buff. I got the stuff. <laughs> That's I'll... actually not bad. I'll go yeah. C11. 11? C11. Mace. Mace. I'll take it. I'll yeah, go above both table. And that will give you... Come on. Kazane! <laughs> I, feel like I, I feel like I was destined for this. <laughs> you need a Kazane. Uh... A men's one under Virgil. One man gang. Man gang, gang. Damn, I would have liked that. Grabbed uh, him for a pick. Maybe I should have made him a king, but you know. Either way. Uh, I'll go. I should make him a king teaming with uh, Chavo. Uh, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'll go between Mace and Blue Meanie. C12. Mace and Blue Meanie. There we go. Rico. Rico. That's Jackie actually Gator. pretty good. Yeah, you got Jackie Gaynor as well. Rob? I'll go above Mace. And that will give you... Uh, Silent Rage, Silent Andy Levine. He's so tough. He won tough enough and never even did me because how tough he is. <laughs> Alright, right, Penelman Woman's pick. Let's go under Sarah Lee. To, to Mina. Mina. <laughs> There's Mina. no one Mina. I have oh, to Mina and, and Nia Jack. Jack. So that, is, that is my main event right there. That's my main event. Yeah, yeah, the greatest rivalry in modern history. Honestly, at this point, I'd kill for that. <laughs> Tony, you're um, phenomenal. Under Tamina. Cameron. Cameron. Count it, ref. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'll do like a reverse type of uh, match where you have to pin somebody's back. Uh, I'll go like... next to Kelly. Kelly. I quite like that uh, she was chosen so close to Andy Levine as well. <laughs> Vicky Guerrero. All oh, right, that's a hell of a pick. She can manage somebody. I don't know who yet. Oh, well, Eric Escobar is still in this uh, list. Hell yeah! <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, let's go with the men. We'll go with the men until there's uh, one men pick left, then pick the final woman, pick the final tag team, and then one ma man to finish it off. Uh, so I'll go underneath one man gang. Come on, I need Eric Escobar now. Manu! <laughs> there's some... Uh, I've got that, uh, got that uh, Anuai family legacy there. There you go. Tony? I'm so shocked that Harley hasn't been picked yet. Uh, let's go 
be 10. Be 10. All right, that's where I was going to go. Let's see who you got. Sean Stacey. Yeah, oh, man, that man's on another planet altogether. Uh, I'll go Meaty pick. D9. Uh, D9? Yeah. D9. Dino, Dino Bravo. Bravo. All right, I got Dino Bravo in Earthquake, and I can't do anything with him. <laughs> and he always references him at some point. Like a lot. It's, a, it's one of those people that Tony always brings up for some reason. But Dino Bravo? Yeah. I do. I didn't even realize that. <laughs> I'm, sure, I'm sure you have. I think you've confused him at times for... Um, Don Morocco? A current, yeah, no, Don Morocco. Yeah, that's kind of something you would do. <laughs> um, Christ. Uh, F.A. underneath Byron Saxton. Come on. Ernest the Cat Miller. Oh, <laughs> who's got Brodus? I do. Uh, yeah, oh, that's, that's a match for the theme song right there. Mm. I'll go under Brooklyn Brawler. E21. Repo, repo, man. repo, repo, man. Uh, yeah, take the really million dollar championship from Virgil. <laughs> we all know. <laughs> uh, I'll go underneath there to Cat Miller and we'll finish out the Fs. Come on, Eric Escobar, let's go. <laughs> yes, yeah, Greg Colley. Greg Colley. Greg Colley. <laughs> Great Colley! Fucking hell. <laughs> that was my world championship match right there. Great Colley versus Jinder Mahal. Oh, of course it was. Good they were both world champions. Yeah, Great Colley. All right. That's so all I like that one, Dan. Go, uh, <laughs> go next to Liberty Borger. Mantor. Mantar. In many ways, almost as good as Great Colley. I'll go okay. under Repo Man above Kerwin White. Is Greg Carly the only Hall of Famer? Brandon oh! Cooper! He's gonna knock someone's teeth out. Yeah. Knock, knock! <laughs> uh, I will go next to Carly. Next to Carly. Come on, Eric Escobar, let's go. Freddie Joe Floyd. I'm good with Tracy Smothers. I, I can live with that. So we got three more picks okay. for the men. And then one for the other two. All right, so. so. All right, so let's do the next pick for the men. I haven't really touched much of the C column for some reason. I'll go under Mojo Rawley. Get me Brackus. Brackus, yes. Someone that was just used for the uh, the Brawl for All and really nothing else. I'll finish uh, the E. Damn it. Finish the E. Damn it. With Beaver Cleavy. <laughs> oh, damn it. baby. God damn. Um, I'll go, I'll go, uh, I'll finish the bees. That's the other one I was going to pick. Don't tell me it's something good. Come on, Eric Escobar. Let's go. Let's go. Jacob uh, Nova. Okay. Okay. All right. If I would have gotten him, I would have tagged him with Lucky Gannon. <laughs> yeah, you would have. I wish I, I wish I knew what the fi- who the final six were, just so I could like build up the tension a little bit, but... Obviously, but we picked so many. We know, I know that Eric you know, Escobar's in there. Is first, uh, one Eric of those is Eric Escobar. Escobar. I'm trying to see if there's any other ones that I can pick off my list that I know of. One of yeah, so one of them's Eric Escobar. One of them is um uh let me have a look. Just to see if I can pick out some names. Uh got uh Eric Escobar's in there. God, where are all these people? We seem to have picked every single one, but yeah, there's still people to pick. Tiger Ali Singh is still in there. Mm. You still got uh, the boogeyman is still in there. The boogeyman is lurking in this list still. Uh, you got. Uh, At this point, that's like a fucking WrestleMania made right now. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, we'll see what we get then. So, uh, Panola pick for the men. All right. I'm gonna go above Nathan Jones. Michael Tarver. See what we get. You got Michael Tarver, I think. Yeah, Michael Tarver. Oh, did I? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, it might have just popped up for me. Cause I, yeah, because I hit the wrong button. So I'll just say yeah. Michael Tarver. If you, if you saw it, then I'll go Michael Tarver. <laughs> uh, it's not great. Who you got, I'll go. I'll go above Michael Tarver. Let's oh, see. Oh, God. You're going to go to our best bar and I'm going to be screwed. 
The Boogie Boogie Man. Man. Oh, wow. Okay, cool. Put him against Fake Undertaker. Shit. Okay, Rob, Um, can you find him? Can you go one in four chance? All right, I'm going to go with D19. Let's go. D19 gives you. Naked (laughs) Man. Got a big old D hiding under that 19. (laughs) Okay, so let's, uh, let's, let's go. Final tag team, final woman, final man. So, final tag team. Let's go. Let's finish off the M column with my one. And pick Los Conquistadores. I like it. I like it. Tony, which one are you going to take? I'll go above head cheese. Above head cheese. That gives you the insane clown. (laughs) Jesus Christ. Shit, you really did put all of the oddities on this. What the fuck? No. Um, all and right, then. Give me the yeah. ends. Yep, your final pick. Who do I yeah, I'm just like, I look back to you, Rob. You're not going to get to pick if you get Eric Escobar or not, because you'll just be left with him if you... Yeah. Get. All right, let's see. Mean Street Posse. Let's go. We had Posse but Posse. All right. Um... And, okay, so let's find a woman. If Rob would get Bam Neely, Ricky Ortiz, and Eric Escobar, he would yeah, have man. rounded out the, the whole, the whole triumvirate of that group. Because I, I got Mabel. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to go above Santana Garrett for my final pick. All the right. women. And I get Snooki. <laughs> yeah, hell yeah. I'll go... I really want Tony to get that one. Above Snooki. Above Snooki gives you... Lena Yada. Yada. Wow. Mm. Totally forgot about her. Uh, uh, all right. That Amy. leaves Rob. Rob's Amy got no Weber. say over these picks. Now. Right, Amy Weber? <laughs> I'm guessing she's Amy Weber. It's actually not Amy Weber because I don't think she actually wrestled. Who do I got? Jessamine. Let's Let's go! Go! You got Duke and Shafir. Let's go. There's your main event right there. Duke and Shafir in a cage. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. All right. So, down to the final three picks. All right. Rob has zero say in this. I I get no say. But then again, Rob's got the best roster so far. Oh, easily. (laughs) Okay. So, I'm going to go above General Adnan. I'm going to guess I don't get Escobar, but whoever I get will be great. There we go. I took it away. I'll go between... Uh, I'll go uh, D. D. That gives you... David, David Otonga. Otonga. God, he's going to probably have to be one of my main eventers. All right, so who do I get Rob. left of? Who's the final pick for Rob? Rob's final pick is... Tiger, Tiger Ali. Ali. Oh, all right. That <laughs> is I kind of wish I, had to, I wish, kind of wish I'd picked him rather than Eric Escobar because it would be uh, get him and Jinder Mahal. But there we go. That's uh, that is one that of ends the worst things. draft and the, probably the worst hour and a half or so of Tony's life. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure uh, there's been worse. Yeah, there's been much, much worse. I, yeah. I'm, I'm so curious what the hell I'm going to be able to create out of this. <laughs> so if you go over to the uh, the final final screen of this, now that we've got the uh, draft list, we've got all the uh, names listed out now. As Those are our rosters. Yep. I mean, I got some some good picks. I got some really, really awful picks. But ultimately, I think I'll be able to squeeze out a card that will be like your local indie fed. You know, like, hey, come to see Ezekiel Jackson. Come see, uh, and for some reason, Kevin Federline is here. You know, like, <laughs> He's doing the, uh, like, mid, uh, the mid-show in the time, isn't? Good lord, I have yeah. no clue where I'm going with any of this. Yeah, this is... I, I think just based on judging it, I, Rob's got the best overall roster. Oh, definitely. But his women roster is literally just Marina Shabir and Jasmine Duke, realistically. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, I mean, honestly... like Maybe Aaliyah, but, you know. Because what can you really do with these people? Like, I kept saying brown panties, but, like, you don't really want to overload a card with the sexist gimmicks, but... I- I, w- I would say overall, Rob's got definitely got the best men's roster. Mm-hmm. He's then you, a lot of the, he's got a lot to do. I've got the best women's roster, I think. 
Yeah, you've got the best. The you've got the best women, and you've got the second best men because you've got some people there. Like you got Paul Birchall, you've got uh, Mike Knox. Yeah, you know, I, I would say yeah, I'd say Tony got legitimately screwed with the men's picks, especially the fact that he had to get two trade ins. No, knowing he Tony, the same in my list twice. As I look at this, knowing Tony, his big time match is going to end up being like I've got David Otunga with. Mr. Hughes against Vladimir Kozlov, and that's going to be like, <laughs> he's done it. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> I don't have the well, slightest idea. Yeah. I can tell you one thing, it's not going to be the zombie against uh, Beaver Cleavage in the fucking WWF Championship. It is, it is just quite an interesting thing to just have just so many like low-level stars. Right. And just think that you've got, you're going to have to build a card as if like they are the this is the these are the only wrestlers that have ever existed. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they're available to looking at Jinder Mahal is going to be real towards that top, yeah. Probably Jinder Gen- versus Buff Bagwell, perhaps. Uh, that's a yeah. Jinder will probably be one of the ones in, in around the main event. I'm thinking Mojo's got a good chance to be up there. Eugene, well, for, this is the fact that he's Eugene is the issue. If it wasn't Eugene, then it'd be fine. Uh, I think Hassan he could be up still there. Do the gimmick and like. Somehow keep it respectful. To, to be honest, I think I've got a few. I've got a few main events to choose from. Like I could go Buff. I could go One Man Gang. I could go Hassan. Tent size good. Maven's good. Bobby Cannon's like a good wrestler. So yeah, I, I'm actually not too. I'm not too disappointed with the actual in ring product that I might be able to put together with the men. Women, I just need to put Nia Jax versus Tamina in the main event, and I'm good. <laughs> That's all you're doing. Uh, but you I'll got Kelly Kelly, you got Dana Brooke, you got... Uh, yeah, Kelly Kelly and Dana Brooke. Good. Santana? Uh, that's, yeah, I think, yeah, Dana, Kelly, Santana, Naya, and Tamina are basically what I've got to choose from. Maybe Marty as well, you but... Know, like, honestly, that. you look at, uh... You look at uh, Kelly Kelly, and like I said, she is the... Uh, John Cena for a generation of people. Mm. I don't get it, but we don't have to get it, you know what I mean? I legitimately don't have the single clue what Tony's going to do with his women's roster. I don't have any idea That's, either. Because <laughs> I don't even know who the best wrestler out of all those people are. That's the. It might even be like. It might be Tory, Blue Pants. Tory, it might be Tory Maxine. It could be Blue Pants. Maybe even Lana or Jesse Camille, really. At this yeah, point. it's terrible. Let me look, at, let me look yeah. at Tony's women real quick. Um, I'm looking at Lana. And I'm looking at. <laughs> it's just real like, I have no clue or like I, I, Bertha against Tori because they can work I mean, I mean realistically Rob's got Rob's got Aaliyah who's okay he's got Jillian Hall who's okay Marina and Jessamine who never really feel the potential of WWE but were like but I feel like they can do something good together yeah and then Vanessa Bourne who's okay and then the rest of them are just all over the place just uh, I think, like, what I do think, you do I, with Barbara Bush? Like, you know, like, I mean, are we going with the ruling that we have to use them? No, well, this is what was, this the what the end result I'm planning. Well, what I think we should do is there. there is no, I guess, intention on using every single person if you don't want to. But it's the case of, like, if we want to create a really good card, really bad card, just something that we just find interesting with people that we can put together and just think, oh, these people could be somewhat related. And I'd say we're probably looking at a one night WrestleMania, like 10 matches, maybe, or something like that. Yeah, I think that we probably don't have enough to have two night WrestleMania. <laughs> the, the main purpose of doing this draft was just the fact of like exposing some of like people. the bad, like some of the bad people, some of the worst gimmicks in WWE history, and just like, you know, ending up, see what we get. And I think it was quite good to see. Uh, Tony had like a bit of a breakdown throughout this. Just like, yeah, that, that <laughs> was fantastic. Each one was just like one more nice uh, dad to the heart, really. I can tell you one match that's most likely going to happen on my card: Papa mm-hmm. Shango versus Boogeyman. Mm. Oh, that could be, yeah. Yeah, that, that actually, yeah, that'd be. I'd, just, I'd like, watch that. Yeah, I'm, I'm surprised you're not teaming them together, but that actually, that actually pretty much works. That's pretty good. I think um, you could do. I think you do something good with um, uh, Rico and uh, uh. Orlando Jordan, if you went with Orlando Jordan's uh, TNA gimmick. <laughs> Might be fun. Yeah. Uh, we're going to have to see. Um, 
I don't know how we're going to necessarily, if I'm, I, I mean, I'm going to split this up and do another video for sure. Uh, oh, yeah. But we're going to reconvene at some point. Yeah, we'll give it a bit of time to let this set live. And we're going to settle on our um, our cards. Uh, I don't know when we, uh, like, what are we thinking that we might end up recording that? Uh, you're going to be doing it sometime this week, maybe next week. It's it's one of the things that we can kind of, like, see on a little bit. Yeah, because... We've got yeah, the rosters now. As, basically, as soon as we can put a card together. Yeah. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about it behind the scenes. Don't worry. Maybe we'll even... Uh, I don't know. What are you guys doing tomorrow? Maybe we'll even do it tomorrow. You never know. You never know. Possibly. Um, so, tell us what you think in the meantime. Uh, if you have any suggestions <laughs> of I what expect, we could do. I expect a lot of the comments are going to be like, wow, Rob is really happy to get some yeah. people. <laughs> Yeah, let's, let's know who you think got the best and worst rosters, why Rob got really lucky, and Tony, Tony got, like, just you, know what, you know why I got really lucky? Because I believe in positivity, guys. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta change your outlook a little bit. The power of positivity gave you Sin Cara and, you know... Yeah, let us know if you yeah, let us know if you enjoyed the uh, the whole random concept of the draft. Obviously, previous drafts we've done in the past have been like us actually picking from the list. And and if we if you like the random ones, we could definitely do some more random ones in the future as well. Obviously, the most part when we go back to drafts, we'll probably just be doing the way that we have been because it's a it's a proven formula. It works pretty well. But in instances like this, it might be fun just to see who you get. Just like you get who you get. Got to make it work. Yeah, so we're gonna sort that out. We're gonna have our best possible out of the worst possible uh, card that we can get, and uh, we might play around with some alternatives or something. Maybe I think what we'll probably do. This is what uh, my current game plan will be at the very least. We'll try to create our own rosters, and then we'll also separately record our ideas of what the other people's rosters should be, and that that's gonna be our dark cast for the addition for this one. I'm also going to potentially try to think of the worst card that I can think of, but I actually, the more I'm thinking about it, I think it's going to be hard for us to figure out the worst card because yeah. how do you really pick a worst card? Cause you really could just be like, okay, well then, you know, I'm going to go Tori versus giant Gonzalez in the main event for, and it's like, okay, well all these picks are terrible. So they're all going to be bad. So we should, we should try and make it good, but try and make it like, in, in in to our own like entertainment because we we just got a load of like awful people well not awful people but awful picks in terms of just the overall thing and so it's just fun to see what sort of crazy con uh, concoction we can come up with with it yeah when you're you're trying to take um uh oh god what's the phrase it's like you turn dog shit into something or whatever uh, chicken, chicken shit, shit into chicken, chicken salad, salad. Yeah. that's what it is yeah it's we're gonna try to do that dog salad yeah dog salad <laughs> That'll be my roster, the dog salad list. It's not even chicken salad. Uh, but yeah, we're going to try to do that. We're going to record that whenever we get a chance to. That'll be up over the next few days whenever we do that, of course. So make sure that you are subscribed to the channel and you ring that little notification bell so that way you know when that uh, does pop up. And then stay tuned for the dark cast that'll follow that. You can get that on Patreon or you can get that on the members only side of YouTube. In any fashion, though, that is what we've got going on here. Um, I don't know for sure with the next uh, main event what that's going to be. If I'm remembering, we might start having to get into uh, the end of the year awards. The year. Yeah. Because yeah. we'll have to do the AEW one. Man. And then uh, the week after the that. And WWE. Yeah. So uh, that's, wow, it's coming up so fast. Mm -hmm. um, so that's some of the stuff that's coming over the next few weeks. And we've got the one to watch coming up with WWE day one. We've got some coverage for NXT New Year's Evil. We got Battle of the Belts. I mean, there's a, the AEW on TNT. There's AEW, I mean, TBS. There's AEW on uh, Battle of the Belts. There's a lot going on in that first week of January. Fuck. Yeah. So we got plenty of stuff coming your way. And as we mentioned before as well, if you want to see more things from these all-time roster draft, mock draft kind of scenarios, tell us your ideas about what other future additions that you'd like to see in the future with that. Maybe we'll even dive into this and, and do our, like, uh, you know, out of its worst roster. Now that we've settled on what our worst rosters are, we might end up doing the same kind of thing with, like, the Royal Rumble and, you know, what's the best possible Survivor Series thing we can get without of this and so on and so forth. But um, drop a comment. Tell us your thoughts. 
and follow everything else that's happening on Smart Out Moment, as well as everything that's happening on Fanboys Anonymous. We're going to be doing a fan tracks of that Rumble movie that WWE has put on for Paramount+. Plus. So go over to fanboysanonymous.com and check that out when that comes up over the next few days. I think the movie comes out on like the 15th. Wednesday. Okay. So we'll have that Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, something for you guys to, to check that movie out with. And of course, if you follow Facebook and Twitter and everything like that, and you do the same thing for Tony, Mango, and what these guys have going on on their side of things. Rob? Yeah, I'm at Dude Police everywhere, and we definitely will be doing Rumble because I'm very excited about that. And yeah, just check out Fightful and Fightful Select and check out all the other stuff we have in the archives that myself and Callum did. But I'll let Callum tell you more about that. Yep, you can follow me on Twitter at Wigmaster14. Uh, you can check out all the stuff on smartcatmoment.com. Power Rankings is my week to week contribution. But check out all the other articles, follow the Fantasy League, all that stuff over there on the website. And if you want to dip into the archives, there is 2001 Wrestling Odyssey and the Paul Heyman Smackdown podcast where you can listen to me and Rob go back and listen and talk about some stuff in the late attitude and early ruthless aggression era. All right, everybody, that's it for this edition. Thank you as always for all your support and for just listening to this episode. We will see you next time. But for now, this has been another smart out moment and we are being counted out. <laughs>